All right, my friends, welcome back to the channel today. Right now, we are driving a Neo ES6 2024 model. We're going together to the all new, brand new, next generation, fourth generation. Oh my God, this guy's gonna hit me. Fourth generation Neo battery swap station. Of course, you've seen on this channel, first generation battery swap station, you've seen second generation battery swap station, and you've seen third generation battery swap station. Finally, at long last, you get to see the fourth gen battery swap station. Uh, it's going to be faster. It's going to have an LED panel on the front. It's going to tell you what's happening in the station and how long the station uh, the battery swap has taken. Um, it's going to be kind of cool looking. It has LiDAR. It has all these cameras. It probably has photovoltaics on top, which we're not going to be able to see. Uh, so it's got a lot of, of new things. Um, even I can share one thing that's uh, really interesting. The other day, Neo in Europe, they had actually a kind of a meet and greet for users. Uh, it was over Zoom or over you know online online meeting. And so we actually got to listen to and talk to a little bit, ask questions to um, one of the people who's in charge of Neo Power and Power Swap Stations. Now, one thing that he said is really cool about the fourth gen Power Swap Stations is that in the fourth generation, they went from having 10 kilometers in each station of wiring, you know, ethernet and power cables and whatever else you gotta put into a station, I don't know. But they said they've cut that down by one third. So in that tiny little station that takes up about three to four standard parking spaces, the older station, third gen, had 10 kilometers of cables and wires. And now I've cut that down by a third, 33% or so, more or less. And so that's pretty exciting for Neo. And it's not really exciting for us because we don't get to see the wires and all that stuff. Um, but they, they do that by implementing wireless technology, of course, and um, other technologies like LiDAR and Wi-Fi and out for the person on the scooter um, so that's really cool um, so we're gonna check out this fourth gen power swap station in action and now the sad thing is I gotta say is that there aren't any ne yet near here so I have to drive actually about an hour and a half to get there it's gonna take a while so I'll just sit back relax hold on in about an hour and a half I'm gonna pull up to the station and I'll uh, see you there um, oh one other thing I should mention I guess before we even get going is for, again, we had that talk with the European users, right, um, from Neo and the European users. It was mainly directed at Europe. People asked in the chat, they said, will fourth gen power swap stations come to Europe? Because right now there's still only second gen and third gen in Europe out of the 50 stations that they just hit that milestone, 50 stations. Now, uh, what they said is that, um, you know, maybe, oh, I can't go here. I'm not paying attention. They said maybe fourth gen station, yeah will not, what he said was maybe a fourth gen station will come to Europe, but they were constantly iterating on these stations, constantly making improvements. And he did say that fifth gen definitely is gonna come to Europe. So they might skip fourth generation. I don't know, we will find out here, probably in the next few months. Um, probably when they have a new Neo Power Day or maybe a Neo Day 2024 in Guangzhou. So, all right, let's uh, take a little journey to the power station, fourth generation, and have a good time. Bye-bye. All right, my friends, we've made it all the way. Took us a little while, but we are nearly there at the Gen 4 Power Swap Station. So we got about one kilometer to go. You'll be able to see as I pull up close to it, it should automatically place an order. There's currently nobody waiting in line, so um, it should be pretty, um, pretty easy. Hopefully nobody cuts in front of us. And it should be as soon as we get there, we can just start the power swap. As we do the power swap, I'm also going to talk about a few other things that the European uh, user meeting, they, they told us about, about the power swap station 4.0. So we will do that in just a quick second here. All right, we're about 500 meters away. We're going to make, come up here and make a U-turn. So probably once we cross the power swap station, which is going to be on our left side, it should place the order. There's still nobody in line. Watch out for tricycles. Okay, great. So there's nobody in line. Uh, we are the next order placed. I feel bad for anybody coming from the other direction. Uh, hopefully. They don't have to wait too long for us. Hopefully we can make this U-turn. So Nomi just told me that it's my turn to do the power swap. 
But here in English, it says, it's your turn now. Go to the start area, tap the button. Of course, I can't do that while there's uh, traffic in the way. Even the guy in front of me has his uh, hazard lights on, so hopefully that doesn't mean that I'm stuck here in this line, but we'll find out. All right, we're going for it, guys. We're going for it. Oh. Is Tesla trying to swoop? Can't be swooping. He swooped. Okay. Power swap station is 100 meters ahead. Should be right here. So in the app, actually, before I came here, it, it does say Juan and Jen here, I did see, because they do put pictures in the app, and you can also access it in your car, you can see how to get to the power swap station. So I did see this indoor, so or whatever, soccer pitch right here. So I did know that was the right place. Um, so we have an arrow here, Juan D and Jen. Oh, here it is right here. Okay. Okay, so as soon as we start this power swap, we will start the timer. I also have it ready on my... Okay, start. start. Okay, started. Force in power swap station, great. All right, so Nomi just told me, um, don't touch the steering wheel, of course, don't open the doors, and she'll handle the rest. So now she's telling me what's gonna happen. Preparation, power swap starting, restarting the vehicle. I'm gonna click start power swap. Preparing, please wait. So that's actually the real start of the power swap right there. That's usually where I start the timer. But a lot of people have said, oh, you should start the timer when you start backing up the car, when you start parking, um, which, okay, that's fine. But also when you, if you're comparing it to power supercharging, about to start. if you're comparing this time, vehicle may shake and make noise. This is normal. Do not open any door, shift gears, or press brake pedal. So in my opinion, if you're comparing it to power swap, uh, power charging, of course, you also have to park your car, and that can vary depending on where you're parking it. If you're driving to the back of a, of a parking lot somewhere, like a Walmart, and if there's other cars who are trying to park and stuff, I don't think it's really like matters the, the parking time really matters that much to me, um, but people think that it matters. So um, as you can see though, it just pulled forward and then back straight in in one shot, which is much better than previously. You used to have to go forward, back, forward, back. Um, also, you can see the power swap in progress remains on the screen. Nomi's telling you she's charging up and the air conditioning remains on, which is also fantastic. Now, as for other things that we learned about in Europe, we learned that in Norway, they have the beta test for the flexible power upgrade, which is a great program where, you know, when I bought my car, I bought the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack because I knew I was going to go on road trips and they didn't have flexible upgrades or downgrades back then. And in Europe, the same thing, there hasn't been flexible upgrades or downgrades, but they've said that Neo Norway has done the beta testing program. A lot of people have been using it and it's gone pretty much flawlessly. They're trying to roll that out to Europe before the end of the year, across the rest of Europe. The only big problem they said is regulations. As you know, probably especially German users know, you register your car, it has a certain weight, a certain battery pack size, and then if you're changing your battery pack up and down, well, then your registration is gonna be wrong and that's been a problem for them. But they said they're working on it and they hope to roll it out as soon as possible in Germany and the rest of Europe, um, but before the end of the year. The other thing they learned, that we learned and probably already knew, uh, fourth gen power swap stations, they no longer need the box in the front of the station um, because of the lidars and everything you don't really need that so in a snowy day of course you can still use the power swap station another thing they said because of you don't need the box they utilize lidar and all that stuff other great thing is that other brands other cars other wheelbases all that stuff uh, can use it other battery sizes it's more flexible um, they don't need all the you know exactly to be this car they can use the lidar to perfectly line up the car which again very very cool so right now we're at three minutes and 15 seconds since i pushed the button when i was outside and we are essentially done the car just got lowered the light's going to come on vehicle is doing self-inspection come on light here we go 
Almost done, almost done. Oh, three minutes and 40 seconds right there. Beautiful, and now I have 100%, well, probably not 100%. Come on. Okay, now I have my battery done. And I have 93% battery. So that only took three and a half minutes, I guess four minutes by the time I pulled out here. Pretty damn good if I do say so myself. Of course, another great thing about Neo is the transparent chassis, which uh, as you can see right now, let me pull up a little bit. I hope you can see it. Um, really, really cool. Also all the different cameras, of course, very cool as well. You have the transparent chassis right here. You can see under your car. Really, really cool tech, makes everything much easier. Parking easier, driving easier. Of course, we have this right here, 3D, 360 view of your car, which is fantastic. Uh, I wish um, other other vendors had that. A lot of them do, some of them don't. Oh, that's new, you can even see your license plate now. On my car, before, I couldn't see my license plate. Sometimes you actually need to know your license plate number when you're parking at a parking lot and you forget, especially since it's not my car. It's the loaner from Neo. So one of the coolest things about this panel right here, besides the fact that it can tell you what's actually happening and it can, you know, tell you information about the power swap, is that it also, of course, it's programmable, it's updatable. You can change what it says, right? So right now it says power swap in three minutes, but also it says there's 2,400 power swap stations. But at the drop of a hat, anytime when there's 2,500 stations in China, what they can do is they can update it. See right there, 2,400 stations. But like, uh, you know, tomorrow if they reach 2,500 in China, what can they do? They can change it. Um, they can probably put some animations on there. They can probably do a lot of different really cool things. Um, so, yeah, I, I like that they added that. Really, really helpful. It's better than a giant TV display, which I've seen some people discuss and talk about. Now, other things they've done right here, as you can see, um, they've added even more words to the side of this station. So right here it says, would you like to charge your car for one hour? Or would you like to power swap in three minutes? And then right here it says um, a battery swap station is equal to a gas station, you know, a, a conventional car, an ICE vehicle, gas station. And then it gives you some other information about this. It says it's just as convenient as a gas station. It says that every time you swap your battery, it's a good experience where they can check the battery health, all that stuff. And then here it says, um, you know, if you are in the rain, in the wind, uh, et cetera, et cetera. It's automatic, you don't have to get out of the car. You don't have to put on a raincoat or whatever like that. You're not gonna get wet. So it tells you about the experience. But one of the most impressive things about that, I guess, is that we are here at a giant supercharging station, right? A giant, a giant station. But um, you can imagine on a busy day, at a busy time, what's gonna happen. There's gonna be people in here swapping their battery three, four minutes like we just did, you know, three minutes and 40 seconds, swap your battery. And other people are gonna be seeing that sign that says, well, you wanna sit here for an hour? Well, they are gonna be sitting here for an hour. They're gonna be sitting here, charging their car for an hour, waiting, watching, uh, anticipating. And they're gonna see this power swap station over here, see Neos swapping their battery. They're gonna see the sign. It's gonna say, oh my God, why am I sitting here for one hour when I can power swap in three minutes? So really, really good marketing. And then of course you also have Neo super fast superchargers over here. These are the 640 kilowatt superchargers. Really, really fast, super cooled, super lightweight, um, liquid cooled, sorry, ultra lightweight chargers. Very, very easy to pick up in case you do want to stand in the rain and the wind. And then of course you have the display right here. Easy to use, plug and charge, just like um, a Tesla. And then also you can scan your QR code if you are a non-NEO user, if you haven't set up plug and charge. We can even change the language. There you go, we have English, German, and French. Really, really cool, thank you, Neo. There's German, there's French. Oh, we got more, Italian, Norwegian, Swedish, Dan Danish, uh, Dutch, uh, Holland, and we got Chinese again, amazing. So these are actually also, I believe, in Europe already, and that's why they probably have all those languages. Probably exactly the same. So yeah, it's kind of a shame that this super uh, fast fourth generation station 
Hasn't had anybody else come to charge or swap their battery right now. A little disappointed. I'm not gonna sit here forever. It's hot and I only get free parking for so long inside this station. Um, and it was a long drive, you know, hour and a half to get out here. I'm sure somebody will come, but uh, I'm gonna give it a few more minutes. If not, uh, it was great to have you join me on my first ever fourth generation power swap. I'll try to do more in the future, especially if Neo can uh, lend me some more cars whenever I'm in China or uh, maybe buy a car in the future, we'll see.